Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Hope everybody is healthy and safe. If you are new in here, hi, myself Hannah. I am an architect by profession, a crafter by hobby and a skincare junkie by interest. I make videos on DIYs, lifestyle and mostly skincare. If that sounds interesting to you, I think you should keep on watching. As you can already tell by the title of the video, I am gonna be sharing with you everything in detail about Kungumadi Taila. I have written all the notes in my phone right here and I'll be reading from this one. What is Kungumadi Thailam? Why Shesha Kungumadi Thailam? What are the ingredients? What are its benefits? What are the side effects? The texture, consistency, smell and color? How to be used? How not to be used? Who all can use it? At last, I'll be answering all your queries that you've been sent to me on Instagram on the question sticker. So what is Kungumadi Thailam? Kungumadi Thailam is an Ayurvedic oil, a facial oil that has been used from centuries to maintain healthy glow and vitality to the skin. As the name goes, Kungumadi Thailam, Kungkuma, which is also known as saffron, is one of the main ingredients of this oil. Now why Shesha Kungumadi oil? Because Shesha is one of the authentic Ayurvedic brands in India which has been originated from Kerala, God's own country and that's why I've, I've been in this attire because I'm also from Kerala and Shesha Kungumadi Taglam is not their own formulation they have taken the formulation from Ashtanga Hridayam which is one of the primary roots of Ayurvedic text or Ayurvedic reference the ingredients used in this facial oil has been hand-baked and of very high quality so they ensure the purity of the ingredients used in this oil and also all the products that they make. They have not added any artificial colorants or fragrance in this oil or any of their products because these are purely uh, taken from Ayurvedic Dranda. So in that of course 3000 or 5000 years back there were no preservatives available. I mean synthetic preservatives available so all their products are synthetic preservative free and I would say Shesha Kungumadi Thailam is one of the authentic uh, Kungumadi Thailams available in India. Why? Because I know that a lot of brands use this word uh, authentic very mindlessly but Shesha one is purely authentic. Why? Because they have stated the reference which is Ashtanga Hridayam. Talking about the ingredients, according to Ashtanga Hridayam, this beauty oil has been formulated with 21 ingredients. Main ingredient being Kunkuma, which is none other than saffron. Then the oil has got a vetriver, turmeric, manjishta and a lot more other good stuff like goat milk etc. Also it has got licorice in it and the base is sesame oil. If you ask me why the Kungumadi Taglam is not vegan, the main reason is being goat milk added as an ingredient and since they have used Ashtanga Hridayam as a reference, goat milk is one of the main ingredient of Kungumadi Thailam. Now let's see what are the benefits of Kungumadi Thailam. In Kerala or even in India, most people use it as a skin whitening treatment but understand that it's not a hydroquinone that whitens your skin. It's a beautiful miraculous oil that helps in evening out your skin and it brightens your skin definitely but it doesn't whiten your skin. And talking about other benefits, it works best for dark circles, yes it can be used under your eyes at night to reduce dark circles, non-hereditary dark circles. It also helps with lip pigmentation, you can apply a little bit of Kumati Thailam at night onto your lips consistently and you can definitely see a difference in your lip pigmentation. And then to get rid of acne scars, now people with active acne should not use this product but uh, people who have acne scars left they can definitely use this product excellent for tan removal helps reduce open pores because it balances your oil secretion and helps reduce discoloration of your armpit but it's expensive so you don't want to use that on your armpit uh, suitable for hyperpigmentation and heals skin infections now let's talk about the side effects so the first one would be it causes pimples for certain skin type especially acne prone skin so people who have acne prone skin please stay away from it if you have active acne do not use it uh, on your skin but uh, if you have acne marks left you can apply it on that area alone to get rid of the uh, hyperpigmentation and the second side effect is that when you use this in the morning you can get severely tanned Talking about the color, consistency and the texture of the product, now this one has got a very very beautiful 
orange yellow color it's very pretty it smells like real saffron it really smells so sweet I really love how it smells so that's the color and uh, the smell coming to the texture it's very lightweight on the skin as a care light I have used Kumari Tagalums in the past as well from different pharmaceutical brands comparing this to that ones I would say they are more thicker and you will know that you have applied something on your skin but with this one it's so lightweight that you won't even uh, know that you have applied oil onto your skin it sinks in completely and you know give that beautiful glow onto your skin now you only need very few drops of this product like from three to five drops maximum uh, for your face and your neck now let's see how we can use kungkumadi thailam for best results you can use the kungkumadi thailam in two ways one is as a face massage oil or a face massaging routine or you can leave it overnight as well you can wash your face first and then spread some rose water to give that hydration onto your skin and then you can use a uh, three to five drops of kungkumadi thailam drop it on your palms rub it to warm it up a little bit and then pat it on your skin and gently massage it you can keep it for from 30 minutes up to maybe one to two hours and wash it off using any uh, simple bath powders or face cleansers like basin or gram floor or you can use face powder cleansers if you're using it overnight make sure that you do not layer anything uh, with kungumadi thailam other than rose water or aloe vera gel no actives no nothing with kungumadi thailam as it's a potent formulation do not use it in the morning skincare routine uh, like a facial oil or something like that along with a sunscreen only use it at the night if you want to use it in the morning you can use it um, early like before seven o'clock use it for one hour maximum and then wash it off then after one hour maybe after eight or nine you can go with your full morning skincare routine along with the sunscreen please do not use the kungumadi thailam as the priming step before foundation or any base makeup please don't do that i've seen a lot of people using kukumadi thailam um, before applying their foundation or makeup as the glow oil now i know that there are a lot of kukumadi thailams available in the market but most of them are just oils infused with saffron and they might be not the potent authentic formulation so that kind of oils maybe you can use it under your makeup but the kukumadi thailams uh, like the shesha ones definitely do not use under makeup share with you my personal experience with the shesha kokomati thailam i've already used a few other thailams in the past um, but it didn't give me any results as it claimed and i was a bit skeptical while using the shesha one but to my surprise from the consistency to the results it was outstanding it's very lightweight on the skin it gives that amazing glow on the skin when you wake up it definitely have a uh, helped in evening out my skin tone and also in the long run it will definitely help in the dark circles as well now let's move on with all the queries that you have asked me on instagram regarding kukumadi thailam so the first question is can dry acne prone skin use this uh, dry skin people can definitely use uh, the kukumadi thailam but acne prone skin i think uh, you should stay away from it if you want to use it you can use it at your own risk but when you have active acne do not use it after the acne has subsided and when you have the dark patches or dark marks you can definitely use kungumadi thailam on that the next question is who all can use it i think everybody can use it um, if you don't have any acne issues what about all the essential oils and fragrance it seems to even have lavender oil um i think you have uh, mistaken uh, Kungkumadi Thailam doesn't have any essential oils or even uh, lavender oil. You may go to their website and check the ingredients out. The next question is, can we leave it as overnight treatment? First of all, try it for 30 minutes to 1 hour for 1 or 2 weeks and check if Kungkumadi Thailam is uh, working for you. And after that, you can definitely leave it overnight but make sure that uh, you can tolerate it. Next question is, is it good for oily acne prone skin? Uh, for oily skin, it's a good choice but for acne prone skin as I've already mentioned do not use while you have active acne Which active do not go well with kungumati thailam? Now talking about actives uh, for example AJs, BHAs, even vitamin C, niacinamide 
anything of that sort do not use with kungumadi thailam when you are using kungumadi thailam only use kungumadi thailam you can uh, layer it with rose water or aloe vera gel nothing more the next question is uh, can it be used daily yes it can be used daily in two ways this one way is that you can use it for one hour and wash it off in the evening or at night or you can leave it as an overnight treatment is it mandatory to use sunscreen next day morning if I use kungumadi oil at night? See, using sunscreen is a must. If you use actives or kungumadi thailam or anything for that matter in the mornings, you have to definitely use sunscreen. So yes, use a sunscreen. Do we need to apply moisturizer after kungumadi thailam? I don't think so because kungumadi thailam is uh, enough moisturizing for the skin. If you want, you can use aloe vera gel but no moisturizer with uh, potent or active ingredients. How much time can we expect a glow? Uh, it really depends on each skin type. I think uh, anywhere between 3 to 4 weeks, you will notice a visible difference at a glow on your skin. Next question, may I know if kungumadi thailam needs to be applied as a standalone at night or can we use vitamin C before it? Definitely don't use vitamin C before it, especially when you use uh, authentic potent kungumadi thailams from Shesha. Use uh, kungumadi as a standalone. I'm using so and so brands kungumadi thailam from a month but I didn't see any result. Is Shesha really good? So talking about the results, it depends on each skin and each uh, skin type. For me, it really did give good results within few uses. So if you ask my personal opinion, yes, it's really good and it has shown results uh, to my skin. So that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any further doubts, you can comment down below. Please do not forget to participate in the giveaway uh, that is running on my Instagram. One lucky winner will be winning a kungumadi thailam rose water and the kungumadi uptan from shesha natural so definitely go and participate if you're with me till here i think you like me and you want to see more of my content in that case please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that whenever i upload a video you will get notified and if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like it and see you in my next video bye bye take care god bless you